All right, so here we are. We're going to work on circuits, and you're going to click on the form, the online worksheet here, Circuits for Beginners. When you get to this website, you need to click on the link to take you to the simulators. Once you're in the simulator, you're going to get a website. You'll have to hit Run to get it going, and this will pop up. Now, you'll notice you got a whole bunch of different things on the screen here. The ones we'll be using, wire, batteries, and bulbs and as well as uh, maybe a switch here and there. Don't be afraid to grab more wire as necessary. You'll notice that the the red circles are where they join together and they form a gray circle when they're connected. Close that, okay, fun stuff. I'm gonna reset all and then go to the worksheet. Here we go, worksheet. Worksheet, here we are. So obviously fill in name and class, number one, add a wire to your screen, click off the wire, put your initials. I'm not going to do this quite yet. Add a battery, connect one end of the wire, is it a circuit yet? So we'll click on the simulator. I'm going to do step one, add my wire. Step one, step two, add a battery. Is it a circuit? I think not. Step three, add a bulb, connect it to the other end of the wire. Is it a circuit? So add a bulb and connect it over here to the wire. Notice how the red went to gray. It's connected. I'm, I'm thinking since the light bulb's not lighting up, it's probably not a circuit. Drag the end of the battery to the unoccupied end of the bulb. Is it a circuit? End of the battery. And, and I rotate it and I'm going to grab the battery and make this really ugly thing. And look, if you ask me, that's a circuit. You got a light up thing going there. That's really awkward. So I'm going to do is sp I right click here. And I'm going to split junction, rotate. That's not good. Rotate this around. Rotate that around. It's just really ugly right now. So I don't know what the directions are saying. But I'm going to add an extra wire just to make it a little easier to see what's going on. Doesn't matter which wire. Um, touches the bottom of the bulb or the metal side. doesn't matter which way you connect, the bottom or the side. So if I take these two wires, because I added one, and I just flip-flop their rolls, put that one there, put this one here, does it really matter? I think not. It's hard to see, add another wire, just to make things seem. Did the brightness change? No. Click the voltmeter tool, put the red probe at the bottom of the bulb and the black probe on the side of the bulb and uh, read the voltage. So go here, voltmeter, click on it. Now if you drag the voltmeter off screen, you're going to have to make it big to get it back. So put one bulb, one probe here, one probe here, and that's just about 9 volts. Now get the ammeter. You gotta split your junction to put the ammeter into the circuit. So I'm gonna come right here, split my junction, click on my ammeter. Hey, ammeter. Mm. Yes, I got the ammeter. And I'm gonna put that there. I'm sorry, I made it. There, bring back to size. Bring my ammeter here and then connect the wires. Now, I've got 9 volts and I got 0.9 amps, and the question is, what's the current? 0.9 amps, and then use your equation to calculate the resistance of the bulb, Ohm's law. Well, when we learned Ohm's law, we learned that I equals V over R, or V equals IR, or R equals V over I. So I think I'll use R, which is what we're looking for equals V over I, so 9 divided by 0.9 is like 100,000. Maybe you should calculate and get the right answer. And um, right click on the bulb and say show value. And I'm not going to do it, but look, right right click, I can go show value and see that it doesn't say 100,000. You can figure out the real answer for yourself. Now, click the grab bag and insert different things into the circuit, which ones conduct and which ones do not. So to do that, first of all, we can get rid of the ammeter. Actually, scratch that. Put, keep the ammeter around. 
and maybe just do this. Split that junction, bring that around. Here, we're just going to redesign our circuit just to make it a little more friendly. Connect that there, and I'm going to connect another wire here. And now what I'll do is from the grab bag, from the grab bag, I got all kinds of things here. You got dollar bill. You can plug that in the circuit. You can put paper clip. You, oh, whoa, whoa, don't connect the paper clip and the dollar bill. Who does that? And then uh, the dog. You can put the puppy into the circuit and see if it conducts electricity. And you're going to put it in there and see if you get light or if you get any current. And you'll see what happens when you do that. Moving on. Build a basic circuit that includes a battery, a bulb, three wires, and then put it in a capacitor. Now this is the one people really struggle with. Um, yeah, yeah, reset everything. Turn that off. Uh, people really struggle to get the capacitor built. Battery, wire, uh, light bulb. Connect like so, and then connect this to here, and then get my capacitor, drop it there, bring that to here, and that to here. It's like, woohoo! What happened? Current moved, and now it isn't moving. Um, what happens? Well, it charged up, and then it just then it did then the reattached circuit so you can recharge the capacitor. Oh, you're supposed to reconnect it and all kinds of jibber jabber here. So then I'm going to disconnect, split my junction. I'm going to bring this. Oh wait, no, I want that one. It's this one I want to split. And I'm going to go, kabawi. Oh, it discharged. How about that? Split. Rehook it, it charges, and you can keep repeating that process. And then, um, add a switch and see what happens. That's circuits for beginners.